Okay, boys and girls, here is another math book that I want you to use with your lessons this week. It is called I Can Count to Ten and Back Again. And it's with two characters you probably know from Sesame Street. We've got Big Bird and Cookie Monster, my favorite. And it's called, here's the sign, it says Big Bird Store. We definitely know how to count to 10 and back again. And that will help you with adding. One day, Big Bird decided to set up a store on Sesame Street. His store had a counter and a cash register and a telephone and a scale. There were plenty of shelves too. He needed shelves to hold the things that would be for sale. All he needed now were some things to sell. So he's setting up a store. You guys could do this at home too. That would be fun to play store and practice adding up the things you buy. Big Bird poured water into a glass. I want to sell things to my friends on Sesame Street. Well, want, said Big Bird. Someone always wants a glass of water. He puts a glass of water on the shelf. Now he had one glass of water for sale. Big Bird found two little wheels on Sesame Street. I should have unusual things for sale, said Big Bird. What if someone comes to my store and wants to buy two wheels? He put the wheels on the shelf. Now he had two little wheels for sale. Hmm, can you guys close your eyes and spell the number word one? Close them. O-N-E, O-N-E, one. One, one. I see buzzwords. What about two? Close your eyes. T-W-O, T-W-O, two, two, two. Big Bird went to the vegetable garden and pulled three carrots out of the ground. I should have some snacks for sale, said Big Bird. A fresh carrot is a good snack. He put the carrots on the shelf. Now he had three carrots for sale. Close your eyes. Spell the word three. T. H R E E T H R E E. Big Bird drew four pictures of himself. Someone might want to buy a picture to hang on the wall, said Big Bird. A picture is a nice decoration. He put the pictures on the shelf. Now he had four Big Bird pictures for sale. Oh, little self portraits. That is funny. Ooh, let's spell the number word four. F O U R F. O U R four. Big Bird found five empty ketchup bottles. You never know when someone is going to want to buy five empty ketchup bottles, thought Big Bird. He put the bottles on the shelf. Now he had five empty ketchup bottles for sale. Hmm. I wonder who would want empty bottles. Spell five. F I V E. F I V E. Big Bird baked six chocolate chip peanut butter cookies. Mmm, those sound good. I know someone on Sesame Street who loves cookies, said Big Bird. I will sell the cookies to him. Big Bird put the cookies on the shelf. Now he had six chocolate chip peanut butter cookies. See if you can spell six. S-I-X, S-I-X. Big Bird received seven wax bananas in the mail. I know someone on Sesame Street who collects wax bananas, said Big Bird. He put the wax bananas on the shelf. Now he had seven wax bananas for sale. S-E-V-E-N. S-E-V-E-N. Seven, seven, seven. I like spelling seven. It's got a nice pattern to it. Big Bird found eight rotten eggs. Look at him closing his beak. Nobody wants to buy rotten eggs, Ooh, said Big Bird. But I will leave them on the shelf for now and throw them away later. He put the eggs on the shelf. Now he had eight rotten eggs to throw away later. Let's spell eight. That one's tricky. E-I-G-H-T. E-I-G-H-T. Eight, eight. Big Bird made nine noisy rattles. Oscar the Grouch loves to make noise, said Big Bird. I should have something for him to buy. Big Bird put the rattles on the shelf. Now he had nine noisy rattles for sale.
Let's spell the word nine. N-I-N-E, N-I-N-E, nine, nine, nine. If you notice, the word nine, nine, has a magic E to make the I say its name. We'll be practicing that here soon. Big Bird found 10 used golf balls in the park. I will never, never, never be able to sell 10 used golf balls, said Big Bird. So I will put them on the bottom shelf where they won't get in my way. Big Bird put the golf balls on the bottom shelf. Now he had 10 used golf balls he would never sell. Let's spell the word 10. T-E-N, T-E-N, 10, 10, 10. That's a good one to sound out. At last, Big Bird's store was full of things for sale. He had one glass of water, two little wheels, three carrots, four Big Bird pictures, five empty ketchup bottles, six chocolate chip and peanut butter cookies, seven wax bananas, eight rotten Easter eggs to throw away later, nine noisy rattles, and 10 used golf balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All he needed now were some customers. He counted from one to ten. Bert came by Big Bird's store. He was wearing his golf hat and his golf shoes. He was carrying his golf bag filled with golf clubs. Gee, Bert, said Big Bird, you look like a customer. Who would like to buy some in empty ketchup bottles? Huh? Why would Bert want empty ketchup bottles when he's got golf clubs? Big Bird, he's silly. No, said Bert. I would like to buy golf balls. Big Bird told, sold the 10 used golf balls to Bert. Perry Don came by Big Bird's store. I would like to buy those nine noisy rattles, she said. Do you plan to make a lot of noise? asked Big Bird. No, said Prairie Dawn. I plan to buy those rattles before Oscar buys them because I hate noise. Big Bird sold nine noisy rattles to Prairie Dawn. By the way, said Prairie Dawn, what is that awful rotten egg smell? Oscar the Grouch came by Big Bird's store. He, I couldn't help but to notice a wonderful smell coming from your store, he said. Do you, by chance, have rotten eggs for sale? Big Bird sold eight rotten eggs to Oscar. Look how he's selling. He sold ten, nine, eight. What do you think he's going to sell next? A few minutes later, Big Bird sold five empty ketchup bottles to Sher... We must have skipped a page. Oh, because I know my patterns. There we go. The Count was uh, Big Bird's next customer. Greetings, said the Count. I'm so happy because I see you have exactly what I have always wanted. For years now, I've been counting parties and parades, thunderstorms, kittens, snowflakes, birthday cakes. Just once I like to count wax bananas. Ah, ah, ah. Big Bird was able to sell the seven wax bananas to the Count. Then Cookie Monster came by. He was hungry as usual. Do you have six heads of lettuce? asked Cookie Monster. No, said Big Bird. Do you have six stalks of celery? asked Cookie Monster. No, said Big Bird. Ah, but I have six chocolate chip peanut butter cookies. Cowabunga, cried Cookie. Big Bird sold six chocolate chip peanut butter cookies to Cookie Monster. A few minutes later, Big Bird sold five empty ketchup bottles to Sherlock Holmes. Gee, Mr. Hemlock. Oh, I said Sherlock Holmes. My bad. <laughs> Sherlock Hemlock. Gee, Mr. Hemlock, said Big Bird. Why do you need five empty ketchup bottles? That's easy, explained Sherlock Hemlock. As the world's greatest detective, I intend to solve the mystery of the missing ketchup. Oh my, it was used, of course. Granny Bird came to see Big Bird's store. I like your store, Big Bird, she said. 
I like the sign you made too. I especially like those four photos you drew of yourself. Are they for sale? Not anymore, said Big Bird. I'm going to give them to you. Big Bird gave the four Big Bird pictures to Granny Bird. Your granny would like a picture probably that you drew. You should draw one for her. The amazing Mumford came by and did a magic trick. He pulled three rabbits out of his hat. Big Bird took three carrots off his shelf. Here's a carrot for each of the rabbits, said Big Bird. He gave the three carrots to the amazing Mumford. Big Bird was beginning to wonder if anyone was going to buy the two wheels when Grover came by pulling his toy airplane. The toy airplane was missing something. I'm so sad because my airplane is missing its cute little wheels, said Grover. Have you seen them? I have just what you need, said Big Bird. He gave the two little wheels to Grover. Now Big Bird had nothing left in the store but one glass of water. I guess no one on Sesame Street wanted a glass of water today. Just then, Oscar's pet worm, Slimy, appeared. Do you sell swimming pools? He asked Big Bird. No, said Big Bird. All they have left to sell is this one glass of water. Great, cried Slimy. That's just the right size for a swimming pool for me. I'll take it. Once again, Big Bird had nothing for sale. His shelves were empty. He had sold and given away ten used golf balls, nine noisy rattles, eight rotten eggs, seven wax bananas, six chocolate chip peanut butter cookies, five empty ketchup bottles, four Big Bird pictures, three carrots, two little wheels, and one glass of water. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Count to ten and back again. Your turn. I want you to count to ten. And then practice counting backwards from ten. I usually say like a rocket ship. When we know how to count forwards, it helps us add. When we think back to subtract or count backwards, it will help us subtract. Practice your counting. It will always help. Hope you enjoyed your book. Have a great day, boys and girls.